Next, we hear about the push for electric vehicles and some things to keep in mind when looking to buy a car. Earlier, I spoke with an expert. Let's take a look. Joining me now is the car coach, Lauren Fix, automotive sector analyst and industry expert. Really great to have you with us today, Lauren. Thank you. If an American consumer wants to buy a vehicle, whether that be gas or electric, what are the key points they need to take into account considering the differences in range, maintenance, price, and environmental impact? There's a lot of things to keep in mind. There are actually right now four options. You can purchase a diesel vehicle, a gas vehicle, you can buy a hybrid, actually it's five, a hybrid, or you can buy a plug-in hybrid, such as like a Toyota Prius Prime, where it has plug-in if you want it. And then you can also buy an all-electric vehicle. So you have options. And that's what I think should be the final result, is that the consumer gets to choose what they want. So one of the things you want to check out is insurance. That's one thing that no one ever thinks about. They look at the car payment itself, and they look at maybe an incentive. But you have to check the insurance. It's much more expensive to insure a battery-powered plug-in car than it would be for a gasoline-powered vehicle. It has to do with replacement parts and components. Very interesting, Lauren. Thanks for helping us look past the payment into insurance, which is something that many people might not have thought about. What is the impact in the auto industry for this big push for EVs? It's a huge issue. Here's the thing. No car manufacturer is making money, as far as profit, is what I'm talking about, on electric plug-in cars. The only one who's making a little bit now, finally, because of scale, is Tesla. And he's already lowered his price three times, which means he's losing profit margin. That What that means is lost jobs. So if the car companies don't have money to invest back into their people, that's going to be a problem. There's going to be layoffs. And we've seen layoffs with almost every car manufacturer. In addition, the UAW was pushing very, very hard, thinking this would be great for jobs to have battery plants here in the U.S. Unfortunately, a lot of this is automated. Much of the materials come from China, so we're now beholden to China. But in addition to that, there are less jobs. So the UAW, who pushed for this on the backside of this push for electric vehicles, has meant lost jobs. And I do want to talk about China. Now, China produces the most rare earth elements, and making these EVs actually requires the use of them. So would this create more dependence on China if we were to go this route? You are absolutely correct. 80% of the mines are owned by China. They were very forward thinking. I recently posted a video on my YouTube channel, Car Coach Reports, about what what is actually going on. China was smart enough to know that they couldn't beat us with combustion engines. They couldn't beat us with diesel on a global basis. So they decided to come up with a new propulsion, which is electric. And they bought all the mines so they would control all of the materials. And we don't mine cobalt here in the US because of the damage to the environment. But what no one's thinking about is thinking, oh, it's only gonna damage the continent of Africa where a lot of this is done. No, it affects the whole world. The environment is the whole entire planet. So maybe initially it might be in that immediate area, but the recycling of this is an issue. Redwood Materials is the first company to start recycling this. No matter how much money you put into it, 100% of these materials are not recyclable. And this is still going to be a problem because there's a limited amount of cobalt in the planet where there is an unlimited amount of gasoline and natural gas, and you can use hydrogen. There's other forms of propulsion, and companies like Porsche are very, very smart. They've created synthetic gas. It's already being produced. It's already being tested in Chile, Australia, Germany, and here in the U.S. The source of these rare earths is very important. The car coach, Lauren Fix, thank you so much for your insight today. Thank you.